Hey guys, welcome back to Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, and we are going to tell Don Pianta is the Godfather Part 2. Okay, no, no it's not. <laughs> that was a really, that was a crazy joke I made, but whatever. Th that's what reminds me of, that's, that's what Don Pianta reminds me of, that's like the Godfather stuff, that's probably what it's taken from though. I was like, wait. <laughs> Sorry, I'm thinking about something else that, that happens that happens in the future, and I don't know what I want to do with it yet. Oh, here comes my voice again. Oh, look who's come back. The Perovi mustache. You got you're going bright my mood. So give what you got. You gonna get the buttons? Those two runaways? Sure do, I'll tell you. Oh, is that true fact? Rock for Harbor, eh? Well done. I appreciate this favor you've done for me. I'll buy your blimp tickets. Hey, you two Nimrods. The kids are at the harbor. Now, go get them. Daddy, wait! Okay. Francesca. Boss, forgive me, boss. I'm sorry, I truly am. Frankie, so you come back to me head hung low with your tail between your legs. No, Daddy, don't hurt him. I'm the one who said we should love. It was me. But Frankie said no. He should we, we should come back and talk to you, Danny. Oh my God, boss. Listen, I don't care what you do to me. I I can't deserve for, for being disloyal. We gotta forgive her. Forgive your daughter, boss. That's all I ask. No, Daddy. No, no, no. I'm the bad one. It's my fault. If you're gonna punish me, anyone, anyone punish me. <laughs> no, no, boss. It's all me. That's my story, Bessie. All the blame right here. Daddy. Boss. Yeah. Enough. Quiet, both of you. Francesca, my heart's strong daughter. You used up your last finger long ago. Oh my god. And you, Frankie. You were like a son to me. This is how you repay your debt to Dom Yonder? I felt like such a disappointment in you too. It's like a poison stream in my gut. Daddy. Boss. I don't even want to see your mugs again. You hear me? Get out of my sight, both of you. I don't care where you go. go. Where? Just go. That's what you expected me to say, huh? Well, that's what I'm saying. Go. Do what you want. Even means getting married. Oh, Daddy, hurt. D Dad, I mean, no, wait. Boss. Oh, hurt. Thank you so much, Daddy. Thanks for your blessing. Boss, I'll make your daughter a happy woman, I promise. She'll want for nothing. Enough already. Just go. Go. Oh. Francisco, see you. You just happy makes me, makes me happy. Happy too. Congrats both of you. Frankie, this is great. Ain't quite what I promised, but hey, thanks for what turn out okay, am I right? Goodbye, Daddy. Farewell. And thank you. Um You still here? Mm. Ugh, you found me. My daughter got her back here. Just look at how things turned out. What a complete another soap opera. Mm-hmm. But hey, this is the deal. You can have your blimp ticket, like I said. And we got the blimp ticket. You, who knew? That guy's gonna respond ear to ear. She's happy. That's good. Hey, I know you were right, right, right for the job. Thanks a bunch, Pally. But I don't want to see that gloomy face of yours no more. Don't ever come back here. <laughs> Alright, my, my face is not gloomy. It's, it is a fuzzy mustache. <laughs> but we can go on the blimp now. Oh my god, I'm not okay. I will tell you guys. Oh, I see something. Yay, awesome, we did it. Now we can tell you guys. Now we're going to Glitzville. I will tell you guys right now. I'm going to run out of voices. Because we have a thing coming up and there's, and there's more different people. Oh, an email. I'll read that later. Um, because we have more people coming up and I, I'm not going to be able to do it. You guys, you guys understand that? <laughs> I'll try my best. I'm not the best place actor. That's just. Let go. Yeah, go to Watch your step. Is there anything? Yep, it's obvious right there. But yeah, I'm gonna run out of voices. That's all there is to it. I'm not a professional voice actor at all. I can only do so many voices, and my throat is getting kind of sore again. Oh, this is cool. My throat is getting sore from all the. <laughs> Look at that! It is so funny. My, and my throat is getting sore again. Because the weather changes and crap, I'm just like, oh. God, 
honestly, I'm not thrilled with this. Chapter 3! Um, Glitz and Glory. I always wonder how this darn thing floats. I guess it, it, it's Mario. I mean, I don't know. There's no, 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 no explanations for everything. No, oh, I thought the person ran up. It's so that blimp is so cool. It's just cheap, cheap, man. It's cute. Uh, well, I like the music here. Glitzville. Wow, no doubt about it, this is Glitzville. Can you believe it? It actually floats. Look at all this curl, it's cool stuff. Well, let's go get to it, huh? Mario? 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 Let's find the crystal star as fast as we can. Here we are in Glitzville, and then we have fighters over here, and also an ink coupon. And I can't carry it. Don't get rid of that. No, I don't want that. Oh yeah, okay, now this, this eluded me for the longest time because I didn't know what to do. Just hit that and get a shot spray. <laughs> like seriously, it, it got to me for the longest time. I was just like, Ugh. seriously. I thought there was a Starbucks there. Okay, so. That's a manager of the Goods of Fresh Juice Shop. His name is Pablo. It's like a lot of flight, flight fans got here. And, Got here since, since, since the good goods. It's close. Jeez. Oh, hey, and by the way, Pablo is a huge hammer fan. He totally loves hammers. Thanks for telling me. That fabulous mustache. I've seen it somewhere before. I know it. Yes, Mario. That is definitely a name I've heard of somewhere before. Well, this lady is so pretty. I wonder what his name is. As far as I can tell, she always quietly enjoyed the juice in the corner. Hold on. What is that mysterious woman? What is it that. Is it that mysterious women do that makes them so mysterious? What a mystery. Gabella, are you jealous or something? Honestly. Oh, there's this. Oh, yeah, we can actually stomp these now. Okay, since. Ugh. If you can get on top of them, you can stomp them. There's a thing over here. Well, power plus P boosts your opponent's attack power by one. Ooh. Now that can now that now that is useful. Since your partners do more damage than you do, for some parts for some some parts of the game, that's useful. Since Mario doesn't get his upgra upgrades until like later on, you can get your partner upgrades like very quickly. There's a shop over his shop over here. Some nice stuff. We got some power punch, thunderbolt, earthquake, points point swap. You can swap your partner's HP and FP. That's kind of nice. Super shroom, but actually that's not not that nice because your FP has to be higher than your HP. So that's not the best thing. What's this? Um, another star piece. <laughs> Controller, what are you doing? Oh, well, this guy has hot dogs. Oh, hello there, you customer. They're only. Here. They're only a yum in the air, especially the Glitzfield and Mr. Hoggins' famous hot dog. <laughs> Ten coins for one, we buy one? No. Don't have one. That's too bad for you. You come again, you fuck up. I can't even do it. Oh, those are the gold bombs. They're actually, okay. This is spoilers, but these are kind of guys are kind of important later. <laughs> so this is Glitzfield, hmm? Not a bad place if you get a little, if a little all told we saw it. Perhaps I'll begin my stay here with hostile buyout that hot dog stand. I find this floating city quite concept quite fascinating. Yes, it intrigues me. I wonder what sort of coinage Mona might shout out to build a vacation from here. Girl, you cannot do that, rich people. I swear to God. Daddy, I want hungry and I want to eat a hot dog, and I want to eat it right now. Oh, I bet you do. There's a starfish over here, too. <laughs> Just picking them up, like crazy. 
think there's anything over there. I must check. Alright, here we go. Here we are. Well, this is a good bit lobby. It's pretty nice, actually. It sounds really built. Nice decor. <laughs> and what can you say about the luxurious chandelier? Except, fabulous! Oh, look who it is! Oh, hello, Mr. Mustache Heart. We meet again. That's Miss Mouse, the thief. She just shot, just off, just off to exotic locations. Whoa, hello. My apologies for that. My poor camel must be freaking doing their late night low flights. That's Miss Mouse. She had the thief. She has just off to the exotic locales to hunt for more, more, more rare badges. The fact that she's here means Glyph must have something special. Mm -hmm, I imagine so. Oh, uh, she go well, upstairs. Hopefully, you guys probably heard some of that, but I cut most of it out. I tried to cut most of it out. Oh, shit, about Coops or something. Ooh. Wow, totally awesome. Check it out, Mario. Someone's about to catch a beating up there. <laughs> really, Kimbell? That's wrong. Ooh, I think it's about time for you to feel the rock. Mm. Oof. Sit down, put in cushion. You don't want more of this. Why don't you show up? Mm. Okay. Yeah, you heard me talking. Wimpy, stay out of the ring. You want me? Are you for the birth, baby? I right, stop burping. Take what I do about two million push ups and then comes the Uncle Rock Hawk. Ew. I'll give you another cool cost. Make this into the car and your mama again. Ooh, champion. That's a great. Hey, Wolven. Your thoughts on the match? You call that a match? Ooh. <laughs> you know, fighter out there and <laughs> challenge me. No, 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 no one can't hear me. There ain't no fighter out there that can make me sweat. They're all a bunch of little crybabies running around stinky diapers. Hey, would you? They got one pit? Come fight me. Bring it. I'll take on anyone. You weaklings might as well stick to video game fighting, okay? Because I'll hurt you. Oh my god, really? Yeah, number one, baby. Rockhawk is the champ. Oh, there it is. Whoa, look, Mario. There, on the champ's belt. Isn't that the crystal star? Yep, totally is. Like a sparkle, gotta be a crystal star. Why would that be in this way? Go pit like this. Who knows? What do you think we ought to do? We can't just steal it in that case's belt, can we? This stinks. What should we do? Steal that thing. Come on, Mario. Seriously. Look at the guys here. We can't do that. No, no, no. The way I see it, all our, all our option is for you to kick some tail, take some names, and become the champion, win that belt. Let's get busy, huh? We are, okay, let's gonna become official battlers first, huh? Oh, I'm getting kind of stuck about this. Let's go and find out who runs the shindig. Hey, Mr. Mustache Guy, where's Prince Mush? Oh, excuse me. Hi, we're here because my son's a big fan of the former champ, Prince Mush. But, looks like he's not around here anymore. Yeah, we came all this way to just see him. Bit of a trying shame, really. Which is so. What's up, Wolf? You want to become a fighter? Hmm, well, if you guys are serious, serious, you better go with Mr. Gobert, the promoter. Mr. Gobert's office is down the hallway. You can't, you can't miss it. Head on through. You can't go out here. You can't go into none of these. First things first, there's something around here first. Let me, let me get it. <laughs> well, there's a locked door. It's all weird. Can you see this? My stand. I didn't, I didn't read what it did because I was lazy. <laughs> Sorry. Alright, here we go. See this star door right here? This is the champion's. Oh, that, no, that's the, cha that's the champion's room. Excuse me, I was wrong. What's that? You want to become a fighter, bub? Oh, alright, go in. Mr. Gomez just inside. What's the tarnation? Are you son? Who let you in? This is Grubba's office. Yeah, that's me, Grubba. And you had one rude dude coming in without knocking. What's that? What now? You going Nathalie, huh? You want to become a fighter? Ooh, -wee. that do change, that do change things a bit, son. I always got t time for that becoming. Yeah, this place is packed to the gills with young fighters all primed and ready to go. 
Yeah, I say, son, you're a bit skinny for my taste, but I'll go in and give you a shot. Now pay me a straight, son. Well, you will live in the grandma's life of champ, don't you? Uh, not particularly. Alright, alright, son. I hear where you're coming from, so loud and clear. Well, I was just a poor pup. I didn't give a pokey's pat too for fancy big city ways. But I just in the world and watched Austin fall my way to fame and riches. And now I realized being rich and famous is darn diggly dang dynamite. Now I can't mix it up in the ring no more, but I earned enough to set me for life. You read me here, son? Dreams do come true, and they're exactly yours. Exactly. Yeah, this is it's the key, son. Dream big and you'll get big, that's the winner's way. And when you make it big, you look like you're all back in all summer dreaming and laugh. You read me here, son? No, not really. I'm <laughs> ignoring you. This is Spirit Chief. Here's, let's have his little walk and talk. Hmm? Come on, now. I'm gonna do this walking. Yeah, I just cut. No, never mind. Never mind. Now, now how you like this pod? This is VCR to go on. This is the champion's room. It's very ugly. Inside, D lugs. You can come change the sun, you won't get the key to this room. No, the gold the gold decor is like trashy as heck. And all of course, and I'm talking the big money and screaming fingers. Yeah, no doubt about it, son. Apply yourself, laugh, wealth, and cover weights. No, but gold is tacky, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but it is to me. Now here we have a bunch of lot locker room, a lot of contenders here. What you think, son, huh? Not exactly glamorous, but clean and comfortable. Go to the sanitary too. I'm um, buying me old fashion, but come out from five pirates, darn it. I should I should clarify my comments in a minute. Sorry. Now I'm sure you know this other son, but there ain't no big one world champ. Calling your way to the top, I ain't the, and taking the belt ain't and to become champ ain't easy thing. But that's the point, son. You wouldn't be worth it if there was no challenge. I can see you got the fire in your too, Pod. You got the eye of the tiger there. Really? You gonna be champ? I can just feel it. I ain't never been sure about a fight. Here, here's another one thing. You got signed an easy beady contract to be a fighter. Ain't no thing, just take a second or two of your time, jot your name down here. And sign me up. Sign the contract. Best thing you ever done, son. Now you're Mario, ain't not a any bad handle. See all I gotta say, Pod, like little punch is about his name, get me. Let me see here. Bam, who we? I got it. But now you're gonna be the great guns hollers. Who ain't that a beaut? Dang it, that ain't a stroke of genius. A name that good comes around like once in a lifetime. Yeah, everyone was soon bound for the great guns all this. That's me, make me proud, son. Well, then we got the business side out of the way. Jolene, could you come in here for a minute, darling? Yes, sir. You wish to see me? See me? Sure did, hon. Jolene, this is the great guns all our newest rising star. Be a peach and take him on to the. No, I'm in the rocking room, okay? Alrighty. Right away, sir. Mr. Gonzalez, if you would be so kind, please follow me. As you know, you are a country fighter now. You must abide by some rules. First and foremost, when Mr. Grover says goes, period. You must do what he says. Also, for your contract, you cannot quit until Mr. Grover releases you. There are many other small guns that I will explain as they become relevant. Well, here we are. This is your locker room. When you're starting out in the minor league course, so you can then not start your career. If you don't like this dingy, dingy room, I suggest you work your way up the ranks. I don't have time, Jolene. You ready to fight? Just lock onto this computer terminal here. Mr. Grumble will then decide if you can match what we against. You have no say in this. Why don't you try it once? Lock off the screen and log in with A. Then pick your reserve match. Alright, we need to do this now. This is going to be kind of a long video, I'm sorry. Well, howdy, Gonzalez. Ready to make your fist dirty? Here you go, son. I got a treat for you. Your first pass is going to be against the Goomer Bros. Don't you worry about them. They'll be a piece of cake. Just mop them up, okay, son? Hey, you wanna get everyone fired up though, so appeal to the crowd at least once. Alright. You got any questions about the DSR rules? Just ask me the lovely Miss Jolly, okay, son? Well, good luck, Pod. 
Oh, you better, it's for sure. At this point, you just wait until security comes for you. Fighting is pretty basic. The team that drops to the opponent, I speed to, to zero first wins. If you beat an opponent who ranks above you, your ranking will go up. Then again, if you lose a lower ranking opponent, your ranking will go down. Simply winning is not enough. When you measure your goal to fight conditions, follow them. In this case, the condition is to appeal to the Crowley's points, feeling fairly easy. If you satisfy the condition and win, you can battle a higher ranked opponent next. If you can get your rank up and up to the 11th, you get a shop up at the Major League. That's about it. All you need is knowledge for now. Did you understand that? Yep. Okay, good. For now, just wait until, Mr. until security comes to get you, Mr. Gonzalez. That's what they all do. We just wait. There we go. There's all much time. Follow me, bub. Okay, security's here to escort you to the ring. Try not to get completely destroyed out there. Gee, thanks. Squaring off, Nick. Nick's also the hopping hardheads of Goomba Bros. Ain't it a newcomer to Hank Fair Hammer and Craig Gonzalez? Goomba Brothers have been waiting to get on head up. All that, what? Oh, let's check in. I'm, I'm not, I, don't know, I don't understand what that meant. How do you do, Goomba Brothers? How are you feeling today? You ready for this fight? Yeah, are you kidding, man? We're always ready for Bonka Fuller, too. Who's this Gonzalez rookie? A cocky idiot, that's who. But it just makes us mad. We're going to teach this Tardy a punk of to respect by his seniority. I think maybe I ought to call him ambulance for him. Just save time later. I'll take you dang, five fans. Here's the Grand Gonzalez now. Straight down there. I tell you, this rookie's got some guts rolling in late like he owns the place. Uh, I was not laying on purpose. Uh, uh, oh. <sighs> Have a bonk, punk. They struck first. You didn't do squat. I feel the crowd against once. They! Those tall cowards! Those chickens attacked us first with the bell rang. Oh, that's it. Come on. We're not losing to punks like them. Let's waste them. Ah, oh, quit crying, will you? That was just a little walking gift for the rookie. What's that? Thank you. Lots of people like these, I feel. You go with Are you kidding me? That keeps it. I'm pretty sure you can take care of them. Oh, the Ouija's weed, the in the audience, too, if you can see down there. And we got. One star point for that. <laughs> the Queen Gonzalez wins. Tell me, son, what was that? A first taste of victory like? Oh, that battle was savage. I'll tell you what, I just saw folks are whooping. The kids got skills. I didn't mean that. He said the same thing in regard with them. He has a new hero. It's here for him, folks. Yeah, the Queen Gonzalez. Alright, come on, sir. Well, Gonzalez, the fight was a total loss. But listen, some fighters are gonna get put the crowd, you know, pump up more. I'm hoping you'll give me more Razzle Dell next time, huh? You know, better than other? Good, I'll be on my way then. Mr. Lean, can you give me your fight money? Here, see ya. My voice. Help. Here's your fight money, Mr. Gonzalez. Got three coins. I was ranking rose to 19. The next fight will not be set until you set a reserve match on the terminal. You can also check your rank current ranking on the terminal's next screen. Feel free to do whatever you'd like until the next fight. You have a nice day, Mr. Gonzalez. Oh my goodness me. Yo, Rook, how was your first fight, dog? Wait, what kind of fuss was that? Yo, I'm King K, man. Just a bush league scrub like you. Good meeting you, man. Looks like I had a stand-up dude. I think we're hanging with you. I already got one. This is so why don't you meet gang, huh? This is the guy who's master crash. Nice to meet you, bomb. Well, uh, we got to know each other. I will give you advice, bomb. <laughs> As Mr. Lane was saying, you better bomb obey Mr. Gobble's conditions. Uh, clear the conditions and win. You get the fight high, the fight higher rank foes, bomb. If you can't clear them, you, bomb, you end up bomb battling a lower rank fighter, fighter, bomb. You can't climb the bomb ranks until fighting at the bomb, fighting at the bottom of the barrel, bomb. Yeah, my man's got you know some speech issues, but he's got good advice sometimes. Then just sometimes bomb. Advice is always useful, bomb bomb. <laughs> White man, whatever. Let's leave me over here. Over here is Bandy Andy. Yeah, nice to meet you. I mean, not in here often, but if you see me around, say hi. 
Oh yeah, if you see the sleep of the bell there, your HP and FP will fully recover. It's not like you're crashing bear in the cancer, no. It doesn't refill star power. Yeah, that's a big issue. Okay, cool. And this last guy looking at his sweet, sweet purple cakes is known as Cleftor. Crap, Cleftor no like, mis no like make friends with mustache. Easy there, Cleft Dog. You're getting friendly as the guy, but you get used to him. Anyway, that's the core of my league, man. Uh, I need something to ask. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. You mean gotta venture square off, so good luck, man. Indeed. Alright. Uh, am I free? Yes, I'm free. Alright. So next time on Paper Mario 1000 Your Door, we will do some battles and get through the good split. So thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.